hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm really excited about what we'll be doing all throughout this week um i'm gonna be doing a video on what i ate slash made in a week realistic really easy and so so good so this is me at the end of the week i've already gotten done with all the recipes if you want any of the links they'll all be down in the description of any of the recipes or things that i followed um i do want to make a couple of disclaimers though one we hardly ever eat breakfast we're just not breakfast people um so i really won't be including any breakfast things i typically have coffee my vitamins and juice in the morning and i find that that's like that's it for me like i don't need to eat again until lunch um and that's not like an intermittent fasting thing it's just my body like that's just how it naturally is i also did have covid at the beginning of this week so i wasn't feeling great so the clips at the beginning aren't great we're just gonna kind of skip through those but please give me some grace in that just because it was a struggle last weekend but i'm feeling much better now also i'll let you know if i made any modifications to the recipes um i made some modifications just for my own health purposes um i do have ibs so i do have to be aware of what i'm putting in my body i'm not perfect at it we had mcdonald's this week that i know isn't the best thing to be feeling my body with but with the recipes that i did make i'll let you know how I could change them or what I did to change them or if there were failures because there definitely was one big failure with me trying to change a recipe. It's fine. Make me so happy if you would give this video a thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button. Um, also comment below your favorite recipe. I would love to see that. Um, I'm always looking for new things to make. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into all the things that I made slash ate this week. Hi everyone. Um, so <laughs> in my last oh, oh video, okay, wait. So in my last video, there was a little bit of a clip after I kept wiping my nose like obnoxiously. Um, <laughs> but I tested for COVID and I did indeed test positive. So this week has looked a little bit different than what we thought it would. Um, we were supposed to go somewhere over the weekend and had to reschedule that and. Yeah, we're both kind of stuck at home right now um, and it has forced us to slow down and it's also kind of been a good time to, I don't know, rest and recover, but also I feel like I've been more inspired with our cooking since we're at home right now. I really do love um, cooking and doing things at home, so it's been really fun. Um, I don't know, our schedules are a lot more free, so I feel like I can do more of it. So I didn't do any voiceovers or great filming of what we made yesterday because I still wasn't feeling great. Um, today I feel a lot better. I'll kind of go over some of the things that we had yesterday. I'll do a better job of the other things that I make later in this week um, of like filming it, recording it, and telling you all about it. The first thing we did was honestly very simple. Wasn't really a big cooking project on my end because we got a pre-seasoned pork tenderloin, but it was amazing. Um, and what we did is we actually air fried it, which I'd never done before. And I really think it turned out really well. Um, I think we just threw it in the air fryer at 350 for about 23, 25 minutes, somewhere in there. Um, and just made sure that when we took it out, the internal temperature reached 145 degrees Fahrenheit. We also did baked potatoes, which my husband has mastered, but this time I got to try it. But they turned out so perfectly. The outside is crispy and the inside is soft and delicious. And then we just microwaved broccoli this time. And we just decided to make this the easiest meal possible of just throwing things in the air fryer, in the oven, and in the microwave so we could have all of those things and I found dairy-free sour cream, which I'm actually super impressed with. And that is the e the meal that I'm eating today for lunch for our leftover day. And Luke is actually eating the thing that we made for dinner. Okay, so for dinner yesterday, we made one of 
the meals that I found to be so one so easy and two delicious and I think it's become one of my husband's favorites is like a chicken enchilada soup and it's so easy because you just throw everything in a crock pot for a couple of hours and it's done and it's beautiful wonderful it was so like it was so comforting last night wasn't really feeling well and got to curl up with a bowl of soup i mean who doesn't love that it's so good i i love this recipe and today we're just doing some leftovers for lunch like i said luke is having soup and i'm having the pork potato and broccoli and for dinner we're going to see what i decide to make For this evening's recipe, we're doing orange chicken. Um, it's a recipe I've never made, but it sounds good and it looks simple enough. I think it's called Kin's Kitchen. Um, I will put a link to it and it looks like she has a ton of different Asian recipes on her site that are really easy to follow. Her site is really clean, so I would check that out too. And stay tuned for an update on how this recipe actually turns out. Okay, I'm a really horrible content creator because my phone died and yeah. So where we left off was had made the chicken, put it in its marinade, was working on the orange sauce that was going to be um, added later. I think that's where it died. Um, and then after that, I made a um, coating for the chicken to be fried in. It was just potato starch, water, and an egg. So I think that was everything that was in that and then added the marinated chicken to that, getting ready to fry it up and then put it in the sauce. I'm so excited. Just in case editing Caroline forgets, this took a lot longer than expected because of the lack of oil. So we're gonna factor that into the overall recipe because I'm just ready to eat this and I'm still not done. But it wasn't gonna be as simple as just like running out and getting more oil because we're both still quarantined. So we're just, we had to work with it. I thought it would be faster. It, it's, it. Okay, we skipped a lot, but here we are. And I think it looks so good. Luke has more of the sesame. I should put more on mine. Oh, well. Thoughts on how it looks? Like a newborn baby. So I think when we last talked, we had just gotten done with our dinner from last night, which we made orange chicken. Um, and it took a lot longer than I thought. So I didn't really film at the end because I was just so hungry. I think I got one clip of before we ate it and it was beautiful. It was so good. It was well worth the wait. I was just so stressed about like it not taking, um, it was taking a lot longer than I thought it would. And I just wanted to eat and I wanted to feed my husband and I, I don't know, I was a little stressed about, oh, and my phone died. It was a bit of a mess, so hoping that today is better. Um, for lunch today, we are going to have a version of chicken chow mein fun. Um, this is a dish that I found at a local Asian restaurant, um, and I was obsessed with it in college. So I finally decided recently to look it up for myself and figure out how to make it. And I've been making it like every day, ever since. So we're making it today. I desperately need to clean my kitchen as well. And for dinner tonight, I think we're gonna be doing a tomato soup, which I'm super excited about.
the proportions that I'm doing in this dish is truly just like whatever I'm feeling. That's one of the things I love about cooking is it is creative and it can be creative. I know you might be thinking like, no, it's not. I need to follow a recipe or it'll be bad. Um, and that may be the case for a while, but follow the recipes and allow yourself to maybe tweak them every once in a while. Um, learn why you like what you like or how you can adjust things. I don't know. It's hard to think that way. I know with baking, it's a lot more like you gotta stick with the recipe, but with cooking, it's a lot more fun and creative if you allow it to be. So for me, I do things a little bit differently and my proportions might be a little bit different, um, but this is just the way that I like it. And if you like it a different way, totally fine. Or if I'm not making it a traditional way, like I think that's okay. I just, I really like making the dish the way that I do. Mm, I love it. I love it. So now we are here for dinner and we are making tomato soup and it is honestly super easy. I've made this once before, <laughs> which is funny because I feel like, oh yeah, I've made it once before. I don't need a recipe, which I totally should and could still use a recipe but the basics of it are super simple and i get to use two of my new christmas gifts okay we have the um vegetables are all all set up they're all ready to go i think they look beautiful like just like look at that but now we're just gonna leave this to bake for 25 30 minutes and we'll catch up then. Yes. Roasty toasty. And actually we're going to make some grilled cheese if we have cheese or like garlic bread. Okay, so there's one thing I've learned from my mom that is going to change the game for your paninis, sandwiches, grilled cheese, whatever, is you take a little piece of garlic on your toasted bread and rub it just lightly on the outside of each end. And it just gives an extra amount of flavor. It's just so simple, but it's so good. Hi, um, today we are going to be making, well, we're gonna have leftovers for lunch, but I also wanted to make some green juice. So this is a different recipe, and by recipe, I mean I'm not following anything, I'm just like, this sounds like it'd be good. Um, we're gonna do strawberry, mint, spinach, apples, maybe cucumber, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so just leftovers, probably some soup for lunch, and then some green juice that will hopefully last me throughout the week. Um, I love this method. It's really just throwing everything into a food processor with some water and grinding it up. And then I put it in um, my little pitcher, but I like tr strain it through a, um, it's basically a cheesecloth bag, but it's called a nut milk bag. If you have cheesecloth or something, that would work perfectly, just so none of the pulp gets in. It's been such a fun thing to do, and I feel really creative just being able to be like, you know what, strawberry mint, maybe cucumber. 
sounds really good. So we're gonna try it. I love that my pot from last night is still out. It's dirty, but it sure looks cute there, right? He always wants to be held. I don't know why. You have a lazy eye. I a thousand percent believe this is going to be a huge mess because it was the last time I did this. Um, I just never know when to stop adding water and I'm just always like, it needs more. It never needs more. I should learn that. Anyways, let's add water. Okay. It's filled to here. We'll start with that for now. It is leaking slightly, but not as bad as last time. Now I hate the color. So I'm thinking about putting some celery in. Yeah. Okay, so these are what I'm talking about. Um, I think I got like six of these on Amazon. Doesn't smell good so far. Maybe you should have followed a recipe. Okay, I pulled my hair back. I mean business. Sorry, Kimber. This is the final product of pulp in here. So this is what it all came down to. And the juice is in there. Um, I threw some paper towels on there to just ignore my mess for the moment. Rinsed out everything else though. And I'm gonna throw away my trash, that apple core over there. It'll be gone. I, sh I don't know if I should have trusted myself. See, that looks, that is disgusting. This looks like garbage. It smells, this is freaking good. This is good. And we're back to make dinner. But he wanted to be held again, so here we are. Because I'm a sucker for this cat. I love him. Anyways, we're gonna make the Fugate House cult classic. I don't know why I'm gonna call it that, but I am. It's just something that we eat literally every week. And we haven't gotten tired of it. And it's super simple and really good. Okay, it smells so good. It's, oh, so good. Um, and then we have the broccoli and the rice to serve with it. And it's going to be an amazing meal. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. So for lunch, we had McDonald's. We didn't feel like making anything. We didn't feel like having soup for leftovers again. We had McDonald's. I'm not mad about it. It was good.
Now I'm making soup dumplings. I'm running behind on schedule. So I'm gonna try and get through this really quickly, but I couldn't find ground pork. So we're gonna grind this pork, hopefully. And uh, we're gonna make the dough. Oh my gosh, I need to start on that literally at this exact moment. And we need to grind the meat and then we'll steam them. And then we're having a really fun night. Okay, great, we're gonna get going. Check that out. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine, Um, so we're making the soup dumplings. We tried to do gluten-free flour. Horrible idea. Don't do it. Um, so we're using regular flour and it's so much better. So here's a sneak peek of what they look like, but then I'll show you the process. So here they are. These have been in for a little bit and those still need some time to cook. Um, yeah, I think it's working out a lot better. So first I'm going to take the dough that we made and weigh it to be about 10 to 15 grams. I've been doing 15 grams, so I just think that's better. And then I'm gonna coat it in flour so that it doesn't stick to anything, roll it out into a circle. Do you feel creative right now? No. Are you like, wow, I'm a cameraman. No. Well, you, you are. Thank you. You're welcome. No, thank you. Okay, this does not need to be a perfect circle, at least that's what I'm telling myself. Okay. So once I have it to the size and thinness that I want, um, throw this dumpling in here that has a little bit of broth in it. And I'm going to, I'm not doing the official method. I'm just pinching and pulling into place until they're all kind of pointing up. And then I gently spin them around until they look a little bit like this. And that's it. Oh my gosh, Caroline, those are beautiful. I can't wait. Okay, so update after last night with the dumplings. Um, I didn't really get to give a great update afterwards because our friends were over and wanted to spend some time with them and then was just like so tired afterwards. Um, the dumplings were so, so good. Um, I did make some modifications to the recipe that I used. So I used Joshua Wiseman's recipe. Um, go watch his videos if you haven't yet. They're amazing. Um, I really feel like I've learned a lot about cooking through his videos. And I know he has a cookbook that is just, I I want it. I haven't gotten it yet just because I have so many recipes already that I'm trying to get through. But I, I promise I'll get there. I promise. His videos are funny, educational, and also very inspirational for making good food huge huge modification to that was you're supposed to use like a boston butt roast i think there was nothing there wasn't even ground pork that i could find i decided you know what there's a pork loin and i looked at like what the fat percentage looks like in that and it was looked like it'd be a little bit too lean so then i added bacon to it but you're actually supposed to use like i think pork belly which is similar to bacon but i needed to up the fat content so i yeah that's, that was a huge modification that I um, did and I grinded the meat for that, which was super fun because I got to use a new Christmas gift. And then the other modification I tried to make, tried and failed, um, was to make gluten-free dumpling dough. Yeah, it was bad, y'all. Would not recommend. It's, it's not even close. Um, so I did use flour for it. 
Um, definitely suffered this morning. Spent a lot of time in the bathroom. Now, the inside of the dumpling was not exactly what I wanted it to be. The reviews that my friends and my husband gave said it was really good. It just wasn't what I was wanting or expecting, but it did turn out pretty well. Oh, I do want to mention, we did have friends over. We are out of quarantine officially now. We're all good. Um, just in case anyone was worried, um, we're all good. Now, I was going to do some other things today. I had um jalapeno poppers on the docket but we're actually going to end up going out to dinner tonight to celebrate being out of quarantine and then also to celebrate one of our dear friends um for his birthday and he's also going to move away so i just had tomato soup and a gluten-free corn dog that's just like a freezer corn dog you know whatever it's a realistic what i eat in the week um they're really good though and we're going to be going out to dinner tonight so i really don't have anything else to share with you sadly um but i'd love to do one of these again if you're interested if you want to see other recipes in the future or even just what i ate in the day um i'd love to do this this was super fun if you guys have any questions for me on any of the recipes or just want to hear some of my tips or tricks let me know i really do love spending time in the kitchen and cooking it's been such a wonderful thing for us it's just uh, it's sweet Again, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.